wish I could be tall like you, Mr. Tree. Being tall isn't so great, you know. Your height isn't what really matters. You should be thankful you have a, pa uh, you have a pair of feet. But you can touch the sky. It must feel magical to have the wind burst through your leaves every day. Not really. The wind blows all kinds of garbage that gets stuck in my branches. I wish I could pull them out so the squirrels and birds don't get hurt. But I don't have hands. Hands aren't so great either. They can do dreadful things. Oh, how so? Many pairs of hands have been the cause of death. Children, women, men have all died by the hands of their own kind. Have you ever taken someone's life? No. Then I wish I had your hands. I'd give you my hands if you could give me your height. If you give me your hands and your feet, I will make you taller than any tree so you can touch the so you too can touch the sky. Can you really do that? Sure I can. But you have to give me your hands and feet first. Okay. How do I do that? Use your knife to cut them off. Then sit by my trunk and close your eyes. But you can't open them until you see the stars. But what about you? How will my hands and feet give you hands and feet? Over time, they will sink, they will, they will sink into my soil and then sprout like buds on my trunk. All right, I think I understand. Give me a moment. Wait! What? What is it? Did you change your mind? No, that's not it. You must start with your feet. If you cut off your hands first, then you will have no way to cut off your feet afterwards. Ah, you're right, wise tree. I will start with my feet. Tree, I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared about, Thor. Because when it's over, you will be touching the sky. You're right. I'm not scared anymore. Give it some time, give it the silence. Keep going, good. Go ahead. You're almost there, just relax.
truly grateful to have met you.